was I able to take a website that, uh, for a niche that I've never been in before, this is the first time I've ever been in the niche, um, and I've never run any marketing for it, never even you know tested products with it, how was I able to take that site to $100 a day, almost essentially, um, within just a day of marketing? Well, it comes down to a ton of research. I put a ton of research into the beginning of it, but it obviously shows. So the first thing that I do is, I don't do Facebook ads, I do Instagram ads to start, okay? Which I, I recommend that you do Instagram ads as well to start. Basically, um, you know, reach out to Instagram pages and you start running ads with them. So, um, but what a lot of people do and what I see a lot of people, uh, you know, teaching or promoting or whatever, is they, they're like, you know, go out and find a niche, go find a product, and then go find influencers. Where what I do and what I think is the best way to do it is actually um, find your influencers first, okay? And why do we want to do that? Basically, you want to make sure that there's a market. If there's no market for what you're selling, then there's no point in selling it because you're not going to make any money. You're probably going to waste money. Plus, once you have the influencers, they're going to tell you the niche and they're going to tell you the product. I'll tell you how in just a minute. Um, but you want to find your influencers first. Now, how do we find these influencers? We, what's popular on on Instagram, okay? Uh, there we go. Okay, what, what are popular things that are on Instagram? You, got, you know, you, I'm sure you're on Instagram like all the time. Um, things like weight loss, things like fitness, motivation, entrepreneurial, dogs and cats, animals of all different kinds, um, travel, beautiful photos, beautiful places, all, kind, all these are very popular niches. Um, and you're not looking for a niche necessarily, you're just looking for influence or something that you're interested in. Ideally, you wanna be interested in it or else you're just gonna get bored real quick. Um, but what's popular on Instagram, and from that, um, if you find a bunch of influencers that are within a certain category, so say you find like a bunch of influencers that are in say the travel niche or something, and they're all over like 500,000, over a million, that means that it's probably a good space and there's probably money to be made. So if there are multiple um, accounts over 1 million, I'll, I'll just say 1 million because that's, uh, that's, that's for the broad, um, niche, I guess, is, is you want to find a lot of people in the 1 million range. Um, then there's probably money to be made, okay? If there's not, then chances are the niche is not uh, not big enough for you to make money on Instagram. Could you do it on Facebook? Could you do it other ways? Yeah, probably. But specifically on Instagram, it's going to be more difficult for you. So um, now that you find those, how do we niche down? Or do you even need to niche down? Um, in the case of my website, I actually didn't niche down. I actually went with a broad niche and it, and it worked out fine. But what you could do is actually uh, you know, niche down and, and find out like instead of doing fitness pages, you do yoga pages or you do vegan pages or you do CrossFit pages. And you do, and uh, from there, what you can actually start doing is um, once you find your influencers, now you have your niche. So the niche is just natural. Um, it just is a natural fit depending on what the influencers are, right? But once you have your influencers, start looking through all their pages um, for common themes, okay? What do I mean by this? Most of the time, people have influencer pages for the sole purpose of making money, right? So how do they make money? They make money by doing sponsored posts, which you're actually gonna wanna be doing. Um, basically, if somebody pays them to uh, post on their page. So that being said, they're gonna have naturally have sponsored posts on their pages. So we can start to look through a bunch of these uh, influencer pages and start to see what's actually being promoted, essentially um, like taking other people's ideas for what's going on. So um, once, we, once we look through, I would say um, look through, and, and this is, I don't wanna put a number to it because it's, it's not a number, but look through at least 50, okay? Ideally more, but at least 50 pages in the general niche. Um, and to find uh, common products, okay? So what you're gonna find is after you look at about 50 pages, 75 pages, is you're gonna start to see that certain products are being promoted maybe two, three, five times. And if you see products being promoted on the same page or on different pages multiple times, and uh, you know they're doing well, they're getting good engagement, chances are they're making money. So from there, once you find that the product is actually making money through seeing that it's on multiple pages, we move on to step number three, which is uh, find the product on AliExpress, okay? And basically all you have to do is, uh, you know, say it's like a cat bracelet or something, just type in cat bracelet and sort by orders. A lot of times you'll find it at the top of that order list or you can scroll through. Another thing you can do is actually go to whoever's promoting the website, go to, 
um, go to their, or promoting on the page, go to their website, which is usually in the link in their bio. And uh, if you pull it up on your desktop, you can do a right click and search Google by image and you can usually find, um, you know, some AliExpress listings through doing that as well. So once we find the product on AliExpress, um, now it's time to build a website, okay? So notice that I didn't say anything about making a website before. We're always finding our influencers, finding the common themes, finding our products, and then we're building a website, especially if you're strapped for cash and you don't have a lot of money in the beginning, you don't wanna be wasting your money um, you know, on a Shopify trial or on the Shopify plan, which is like 29 bucks, which it's not a waste, but if you're, if you're strapped for cash and you don't have to be paying, then why would you? Um, so start your Shopify trial. Which, uh, by the way, if you guys want to get started, I do have a, uh, a link to the free Shopify 14-day free trial uh, that you can go ahead and uh, you know get in on. I have a link in the description below that you can check out. But basically, you're going to start your Shopify trial and you're going to build out your website. Super simple. Just use um, you can honestly just use the, the default theme. That's what I did. Uh, you don't have to go crazy with logos. Don't go crazy with colors. Literally, guys, you can probably build this site in a matter um, if you're brand new, never built a site before. You could probably build it in like 12 hours total, um, you know, split up obviously, unless you want to go long haul, just like freaking 12 hours straight, but it shouldn't take you a whole lot of time. So start your Shopify trial, import the winning product. Okay. And this is the product that we found over here in, um, let's see, in step two, the product that we found through looking through influencer pages, we're going to import that winning product. And basically, um, after that, um, import four to six, uh, similar products. And basically we're just going to use this as upsells. Okay. So, um, say you're in, I don't know, uh, the CrossFit niche or something and you're selling like a CrossFit necklace. Okay. So you have the CrossFit necklace, but then maybe you can sell like a barbell bracelet or like a, some sort of ring or like a t-shirt or something. So find four to six similar products. Ideally they all have like decent amount of orders. They're, they're pretty good on AliExpress and we're going to import those using Oberlo, um, which you also do for the main product. Import all those in using Overlow and you're you're good. Basically, you're gonna now have like five to maximum 10 products on your website. Now that we have that, we already have our influencer list here that we did in step one, we already know. Um, we can actually, if you didn't already in step one, uh, reach out to the influencers we found in step one and ask for rates for a featured uh, post, okay? And ideally, you're gonna be wanting to reach out to the influencers that have um, ideally um, under 300K followers. Um, and the reason why is because, um, especially when we're just testing out, because we, we have a pretty good idea that it's gonna work, but we're not for sure that it's gonna work. Um, so if, if it's uh, you know under 300K, usually you're gonna spend less than $30 or $30 max. Um, anything more than that, like I don't want to waste fifty dollars if I don't have to, if I know that it's not going to work. So ideally, I'd like to test with influencers of under three hundred k, if possible. So um, let's do. And uh, a lot of people ask the question, like, how many influencers should they actually reach out to? I usually recommend at least like thirty to fifty uh, per day. Okay, and I know that sounds like a lot, but honestly, uh, you know, the, the average response rate is about 20%. You can get it higher. I've made videos about how to get it higher, but um, you're, you're gonna get maybe 20, uh, of these 30 to 50, you might get responses from like three to seven. So you really wanna make sure that, that you're on point. Okay, once you do that is when you uh, run the ad and uh, optimize from there, okay? And I've made videos about how to run ads, how to create ads, and you can check all those out on my channel and also how to optimize. But basically guys, this is the, the blueprint here. And I know it's kind of it's kind of hard to tell, but basically find your influencers. By finding your influencers, you're actually gonna find your niche as well. So don't focus on your niche. Um, second of all, through finding your influencers, you're gonna find common themes and products. Once you find that, import the winning product that you find through a common theme into your website, along with like four to five other similar products, okay? and you're not gonna start your website until you find that product and the influencers. Once you do that, contact influencers under 300,000 um, and just make sure that, or check what their rates are. Ideally, you wanna spend less than $30 um, just testing these out. Um, and yeah, then you just run the ad, which I've done videos on. You can check them out on my channel and you should be good to go, guys. Um, it's, it's actually pretty simple. Um, this is like a sort of simplified version, but it's actually 
kind of this easy. It's, it's not really difficult as long as you put in the research on the front end. And honestly, just use your competitors' websites as examples so that you can start to get uh, sort of an idea of what's actually 